Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Archers. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Archers. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Archers, as it take care of you, my loves? Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels, and your ancestors have for you today. All right. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe members as well. Gang, gang, I appreciate you all so much for your love and support. And welcome back to the Patreon family. It's a pleasure as always assisting you all. Thank you for your continuous love and support, Patreon family. I enjoy connecting one-on-one -on -one with you all as well. And welcome to the ones that are new here. And this is your first time stopping by. It's definitely a pleasure to have you here. All right. I definitely hope the reading here is fulfilling for your souls. All right. And let's go ahead and get into your messages, Archers. The week this week, we focusing in on the color yellow. Yes, I have definitely been enjoying working with the color yellow this week, all right? Which focuses in on our solar plexus, our soul, our spirit, our higher selves, right? So definitely, if you are new here, welcome again. Keep up with the community tab. That is where I post the new, the new color, excuse me, each week that we transition to. And I also provide our soul tribe and our Patreon family ways to help evolve with these colors as well how you can learn how to work with them manifest with using candles also how to focus in on your chakras all right because everything needs to be done spiritually mentally and emotionally all right so let's go ahead and get into your reading here today archers we're going to start with some oracle messages from your guardian angels and your ancestors all right so if you stick around i'm going to use a tarot deck and then we're going to dive deeper into your love life yes all right so i am going to pull a love romance angel deck out here for you all as well and making sure to get some messages from your person or whoever you are engaging here with okay all right so let's get into it archers the first card we have here is whoa abundance all right yes fuck it up Yes, abundance is on the way for you, archers, in whatever shape, form, and fashion that is for you. All right, I do want to say happy birthday, Sagittarius. Happy belated birthday, Sagittarius. And happy early birthday, Sagittarians. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying your rebirth, your cycle, your new fresh start that you're going into with this color yellow, right? The color yellow always reminds me of a fresh start, new beginnings, okay? So you all are definitely experiencing that as a collective and i am a sagittarius myself so we're definitely experiencing this on a collective level so i definitely feel the fresh new energy for myself i do reflect on my past uh as far as my cycle and what had transpired then all right and i am definitely looking forward to the new beginnings for all of us as a collective sagittarius so happy birthday and be ready for your abundance here my loves yes okay we have look at this this is so beautiful and look at all this color yellow it's just giving me light okay it's doing something for me this week all right peaceful resolution archers okay so whatever you may was concerned about here or something that didn't plan out as you may have hoped in your past or even in your last past cycle right you're now going to get a peaceful resolution all right when it comes to whatever situation or circumstances is for the next go around here so this is good news archers okay whatever may have transpired in your past again that you didn't get to pursue this could be with a particular relationship this could be a business project something that you're re-ramping here because we got keyword resolution so this is something that you've already reflected on revised or you know you may be revisiting a situation or a circumstance here and now it's going to be a peaceful resolution here for everyone that's involved including yourself Sagittarius okay so definitely embrace this peaceful resolution I love it I love it wow look at this archers big happy changes are on the way the bells again yes all right oh my goodness you got so much to look forward to Sagittarius my goodness, I'm just feeling a burst of energy that is beautiful. It's a burst of fresh air. It's definitely going to be some big happy changes coming in here. Some of y'all may already be seeing the number five continuously here. 
555. You also may be seeing the number 1111 that also talks about new beginnings and 1010, which is informing you that you have closed out a cycle. A lot of you all have passed your karmic test here and you're moving forward. This is so beautiful. So let's get the tarot deck out on this archers. All right, let's see what spirit else wants to give you more clarity about. And again, stick around. I'm going to pull out the love romance angel deck so we can get into your love life, Sagis. Wow. Definitely if the readings today, love is resonating for you, love. So don't forget to like, subscribe, be a part of the family. We would love again to have you here. All righty, making sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on the platform here. I do go live Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time. If that's something that you're interested in, we would love to have you there. I do all Zodiac sign readings to get your daily check-in before you get your day started, all right? So let's get into it, Archers. Let's see what else we need to know about all this abundance, this peace for resolution, and the big happy changes. Yes, Archers, fuck it up. Ooh, we have the Ace of Swords here. So you're definitely going to get some clarity and some truth coming in here. Some of y'all, this could be from an air sign here, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. All right. So whatever abundance this is that's coming in, it's going to be given from the divine. So this could be, you know, we always get messages through people, through colors, right? Through numbers, through music. All right. But you're definitely going to get some clarity in, in regarding how your abundance here is coming in for you. Okay. Okay, so be out, out on the lookout, okay? Making sure that you're following your intuition, Sagittarius, all right? And you are using your discernment for this clarity that's coming in to set up this abundance for you, all right? Ooh, we have the five of cups here, all right? This is Scorpio energy here particularly. Some of you are this particular person here may be a Scorpio, all right? Or this could be a water sign, a Cancer, or a Pisces, but particularly Scorpio energy here, all right? So for some of you all, there's going to be a peace for resolution when it comes to a relationship matter here or someone that you gave your love your effort and your time towards here that in the past they broken your heart Sagittarius okay and now this is again where this resolution here I see is coming in at for you let's raise these cards up here love so that way I can make sure that you all are being able to see your cards here on camera honey okay and speaking of camera honey if you are enjoying the content, again, definitely share the content here. Get the message out to all the beautiful Sagittarians, okay? I also do readings on camera for Patreon family, all right? If you would love to join the Patreon family, I do readings on camera there for them as well. And also live streams are being done on camera. If you would love more on a one-on-one -on -one experience with me, and I do also provide early access to your readings. So you will always get your readings first before anyone here on YouTube, okay? So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, we also have one-on-one -on -one daily check-ins with each other. Um, and a lot to look forward to there. So definitely check that out. It's all down in the description box, my loves, all right? But I do see a cycle, of course, here that has closed out, as we mentioned here, because we have the 10 of wands, okay? This is your energy, Sagittarius, all right? Some of y'all, this person could be a Sagittarius like you, or an Aries here, or a Leo, all right? But however here, for people, places, and situations here, archers that have broken your heart here, that have disappointed you here, or any regret regrets at that that you may have had here that cycle now is closing out for you okay and the help of the divine here because of whatever clarity and information here that is coming in for you here all right this is going to allow you to move forward and have this peace for resolution here okay so no more crying over spilled milk no more you know being put in situations here where people are continuously taking advantage of you or you know putting you in places where you feel hurt okay because of these particular people or situations and circumstances i see you've also learned about yourself through these experiences with relationships family members, uh, associates here. You definitely now know how to put all these burdens down for people, situations, and circumstances that no longer resonate with you. You have took on the action here to take the necessary steps here to remove yourself from people that are not like-minded 
treated like Sagittarius and not receiving genuine love. And this is where the peace for resolution here is going to come into play. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. The high priestess here. Some of you all may be uh, tarot readers like myself, or some of you all are very intuitive, obviously, here, right? You're very in tune with your higher self and your lower self here, okay? So this is why. And you even picked up this energy from these individuals or even these circumstances here that put you in a place where you were hurt because of the experiences with these particular people or you know like i said this could be a relationship based as well regarding your pain and your companion here your partner that broke in your heart here okay so now you know how to basically in a nutshell set healthy boundaries for yourself okay you've also been able to know and understand what's healthy for Sagittarius and what's not and this is why all of this positive energy here is about to play out for you because you went through all the negative low frequency vibration here and you've learned who you are you learned other people and who they are and how they play their role and part in the relationship or situation here and so now you're able to become into this beautiful psychic being that you are okay you're now understanding the dark and the light your lower self your higher self you become your own high priestess here sagittarius wow fuck it up all right and some of you all this is a sagittarius here that you again are resonating with or engaging here with and i also wanted to say pisces so sagittarius is very significant but also pisces energy as well some of y'all this person may be a pisces a cancer a scorpio an air sign aquarius a gemini a libra or again a leo an aries or a sagittarius wow archers so let's move forward to your loves let's dive into your love life here with the love romance angel deck here all right let's see what your garden angels suggest and have to say when it comes to your love life all right again if you are enjoying the content we would love to have you here part of family definitely subscribe loves on your way out also loves i am available for personal readings yes if you would love to book a personal reading sagittarius i am available for personal readings all that information loves is down below in the description box my loves all right so let's get into your love messages here archers Ooh, we have playfulness to recapture. There goes that key word, re. Okay, so a lot of restoring, re-ramping, revisiting, reflecting, reviewing, revising. Okay, all those R-E's are put in the front. So a lot of you all are revisiting cycles. And you're, you know, you're cutting out people, places, again, in situations that no longer resonate with you. This is why he's taking this one and literally throwing all these ones on the ground because they have all come through a completion. He no longer resonates with these, you know, passions because each one represents passion or a particular desire that he had or has here in the present or had in the future that he is putting all down. And you guys have done that. You have put all the passion, desire that you had in a person a place or a thing here that brought you into this place, you're putting those burdens down. And this is what you're walking into. Abundance, peaceful resolution, big happy changes here because it took you to have to do this. This is the only way that things could balance out when you're not continuously receiving negative low frequency vibrations. You now know what healthy happy relationships are versus low frequency vibrations. You all understand and you've come into one with yourself and you are even understanding your psychic capabilities here and how you can maneuver right through these opportunities. Okay, So we have again to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yes okay so all that beautiful energy that childhood energy you know going to the park freeing yourself type of energy here that's all come into play now okay you're gonna feel so refreshed it's no ink it's no incident or coincidence excuse me or accident on how we are working with the color yellow this week and how everything just plays a part there's no accidents here okay so Delphi new beginnings coming for you all Delphi embrace it as well and especially Especially if you're new here, it wasn't an accident for you to come in 
on the color yellow as we're discussing these cycles here that have closed out and you're going into these new big happy changes. That's definitely not an accident, okay? Wow, look at this flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? So you're definitely going to be extending your energy to others. And again, it's like some of y'all have met even a new soul tribe here. People that are more like-minded like you, okay? Because a lot of flirting, smiling, enjoying yourself is going to be taking place here. Wow, look at this. Your love life is looking good here, archers, all right? You have already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? So some of y'all, you've already met this person here that got you all in this gullible, big, happy change energy here, this burst of fresh air, this burst of new energy here, okay? Delphi, you all are meeting someone new and for some of you all, others, you have already met this new person here, okay? Or you will be, but know that this could be the one, Sagittarius. You have already met romantic partner that you seek here. So know that this person is already here, okay? Or they are definitely on their way if you haven't met them yet, okay? The last card here, wow, look at that. Archers is trust, okay? Because some of y'all may have even given up on love, right? Because I get it. If you see the energy here, it's just so sad. Every time I touch this card, the energy just go, whoop. literally, it just drops, okay? So this is how you were used to your outcome and results of your relationship, Sagittarius. But no more of that. You still have two cups here, okay, that's referencing to this particular person here that could be the one, okay? So don't give up when it comes to love. You take those two cups and you walk over that bridge and you appreciate the experiences that you had with these individuals here and you learn and take the lessons from these relationships here and you utilize them for your new beginnings, okay? And trust, all right? Spirit wants you to trust that whatever happening now in your life, it's for a reason, okay? So this situation is calling for you to have faith, calling you to have faith to know that you deserve genuine love like everyone else and that you're gonna get it, okay? It may not be here now, right, Sagittarius? like you want it to be but trust me everything happens in due timing okay everything has a season everything has a protocol everything has a alignment okay so when you understand it from that perspective in the meantime, continue working on yourself. Continue focusing on healthy relationships by starting with yourself, loving yourself, taking out self-care tips for yourself, doing for yourself, okay? Finding healthy hobbies for yourself, okay? Right? So let's move forward here. Let's finish up here, Archers. Wow, powerful messages here. Oh my goodness, Les. I'm definitely going to have to go back and rewind myself, okay, as a Sagittarian, right? So Duffy loves if you are enjoying the content. Duffy like, subscribe. Get this message out there for all the beautiful Sagittarius, all right? And again, loves, adjust your notification bell so you can be ready for Wake and Tarot next week. I definitely look forward to all of you attending the live stream, all right? Wow, let's see how your person now feels, okay? We have, we are supposed to be together here, wow. So someone here feels like you, Sagittarius, and this particular person here, they feel that you two are supposed to be together, okay? Wow, we have no, I am not leaving, okay? So, wow, you have an ex here or someone that you're currently experiencing a relationship here with that is not leaving, okay? Or they're not wanting to leave, at least at that, okay? And wow, last card, they don't make me feel like you make me feel. Well, you know, that's kind of sad cookie there, okay? Because this can go either way here. This is not like this was something that you done amongst this person here because of the choices or the decisions here that this person made. You did your part in the relationship and unfortunately, this person didn't do that or take advantage of that. So they're definitely now learning from this experience here, Sagittarius, just like you had to, right? So let's finish up. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get a couple more Oracle messages here from the decks that I created here. And then we'll go ahead and close out your reading here today, all right? Wow, we have I love your legs, okay? So wow, of course, Archer. 
archers, you are the archers. So you rule the thighs, right? So your legs are always going to be on fleek, honey, okay? So some of y'all have may have gotten um, compliments from your partner or this person that uh, where they're at, okay? That could be the one over here. Some of y'all have gotten compliments from this particular person and they love your legs, okay? All right, or you will be, oh, look at that. Songs remind me of you, okay? So a lot of telepathically communicating with each other and that's definitely why we have the uh, high priestess there, okay? So you and your partner could also be telepathically communicating with each other through dreams okay uh through music where you're communicating with each other this is beautiful so this is going to be a very spiritual connection between you and your person okay wow we have you are the shit okay so know that people feel and see that you are the shit Sagittarius you're over there fucking shit up okay and wow we have haters here okay so there are haters wherever there is good energy there is always bad energy right we have to have a balance okay but you you got this Sagittarius. You know how to maneuver right through people like that. You know how to move around and get to where you need to go and move around to, okay? So I know that doesn't bother you there. That's nothing new, okay? If you don't have haters, then you're not doing your job, right? So wow, Sagittarius, beautiful messages here today. Again, I definitely hope the reading here has resonated for you all. All right, I want to make sure to use, let's go ahead and use the dice here to see what zodiac signs here that you're going to be dealing with here in the next days here, okay? We have Pisces energy here, Sagittarius. Okay, some of y'all are going to be engaging here with the Pisces here. We also have, ooh, Libra. All right, some of y'all, there's a Libra here coming towards your way here in the next couple of days here. And others of you all, lastly, we have a Leo. All right. Some of y'all are going to be dealing with the Leo here in the next couple of days. All right. So we had Leo, uh, Pisces, and what was the other one that we had? Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Libra. All right. So Leo, Libra, and Pisces for some of you all. Not all of you all. Okay. Some of you all. Just take it where it resonates. Now, I'm going to pull the last dice here to see in how many days will that be. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, we have 10. All right. So 10 days. Some of you all, this could be 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months. Okay. So just take it where it resonates or it can be like on the 10th day of the month, which is actually, that is what, uh, well, you guys will receive this reading here that I'm doing today, which is actually the ninth, but you'll receive this in the rising on Saturday rising. So today okay so technically as you all are listening in today is the 10th if i'm not correct all right quote me if i'm not correct there okay but technically yeah that is correct yes because today is the ninth as i am recording the uh reading here today and tomorrow will be the 10th when you receive this so wow the number 10 is going to be very significant we know number 10 talks about closing out cycles all right so wow and then you have the 10 of ones there so take heed loves all right beautiful messages archers all right i'm gonna let you go all right i hope you all enjoy your weekend sagittarius i look forward to next week live streams with you all all right and i love you archers if you would love love again to be a part of the soul tribe click the join link down below we do have our own private community there where i do have daily content that I provide there. And also we have our own private live streams. If that is something that you're interested in, we would love to have you part of the soul tribe by clicking the join link down below. Again, if you would love, love to become a Patreon family member there, and you just want to expand your spiritual path and journey, and you want to learn about yourself, you want to understand numerology, astrology, how it plays a part in your birth chart and what the next necessary steps is for you. I will be happy to assist you. Again, we do have one-on-one -on -one weekly check-ins with each other discussing you know oracle messages we can pull tarot decks also discussing your birth chart questions that you may have throughout the week i am there to assist you through via text message also again i do provide early access to all the content here and you also get daily spreads as well so i am so excited i have enjoyed the patreon family and the soul tribe as well of course and i am looking forward to our future together here as we expand and grow spiritually i say i say you guys take care of sagittarius and remember your health is your wealth loves i love you archers Mwah. bye bye